When you've launched hundreds of campaigns within Lemlist and you're prospecting thousands of leads, it can be difficult to keep track of what you're doing. That's exactly where the task section comes in super handy. Now the task section you will find just here. And what it will do is it will allow you to see all of the different actions like calling, uh, manual steps, anything that you've set within your campaign, it will appear here in the task section. So one example is when you need to make a call, it will appear here in the task section for you to make a call. And the purpose of coming to the task section is so that you can either assign it to a different user or you can keep your campaigns moving. So once the action has been done, so let's say I've called this person here, I will click done and then it will allow the campaign to continue moving forward as normal. Also, what you can do is you can call from within this button here. It makes it nice and easy with air call. Then what you can do is you can also reply directly in an email from within the tax section and you can even do LinkedIn steps as well. Now, if I show you what it looks like, if I come into any random campaign here and I have a manual task as my first step, because that's what I've set up in the sequence. Here are the instructions. So this is where I can say the title of my task. So it can be anything. Do manual task. I've put as this in as example. It can be send LinkedIn message. It can be do research. It can be whatever. When I come onto the review and launch section and I actually launch this particular person here, which is me. When I go back to the task section, what I see here is do manual task tell, and I've got the little instructions here, just as I wrote in the campaign. Now, another thing I can track is emails and LinkedIn steps as well. From within the task section, then if I click on teammates tasks, I have a few more here. And if I click this one here, we see a thumbs up. So what we might want to do is mark this one as interested. When we mark it as interested, it becomes a positive response. So that ultimately will affect our campaign statistics as well in the stats and reporting section. Once we mark it as interested as well, it means that the campaign for that person has finished. Now, how you can adjust those settings and decide what is put into a task, that's where you need to go onto the campaign specific settings. So come in here into any campaign, click on the little wheel, and then you can come down here and you can say, create a new task when people reply by email or LinkedIn message. And that's where it will go to the task section and it will appear. Or if they click on a link, so if someone clicks on a link, it will appear as a task as well. Finally, just to touch on it again, what you can do is you can go into the tasks and assign it to anyone in your team. So if there's something that they need to do, you can very quickly choose them here. I can click on Carlota and that is disappeared from my task section and it will arrive in her task section instead. There you go. That's how you use the task section to gain a little bit of control back over your organization. Any questions, of course, let me know in the comments below and watch all of the other videos to learn about prospection tips and how to grow your business, so on and so on. And of course, the Lemlist tutorial videos. If you're not using Lemlist yet and you would like to try it, click the free link in the description down below.